Hey guys, welcome to the 33rd Autodesk Inventor tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to continue looking at the coil tool. So let's just go ahead right here and draw our axis and to do that I'm going to be using the line tool up here and I'm also going to be drawing a profile and my profile is going to be a hexagon but remember it doesn't matter what shape you make your profile as long as it is a closed shape. So once again I'm going to be drawing a hexagon and to do that I'm going to be using the polygon tool up here and remember a hexagon has six sides so I just need to enter six there just go ahead and click and move my mouse and there I have a hexagon alright so once you have both your profile and your axis drawn just go ahead and click finish sketch and then go over to the coil tool and go ahead and select your profile uh, my profile is automatically selected for me so I don't have to do that and now all I have to do is just select my axis and remember the axis is going to be the line that I drew previously, so I'm just going to go ahead and select that line right there. Alright, so once I have both my profile and my axis selected, we see we get a nice preview of what the coil is going to look like. And if we want to edit this coil at all, all we have to do is just go over to the coil size tab right there. And we can mess around with these numbers. So the first value that we can edit is the pitch. And the pitch is basically just the distance in between this line right there and this line so currently there's a half inch in between this line and this line right there we can also edit the revolution and the revolution is basically just how many times um, this will revolve around the axis currently it's on four so if we wanted to make it revolve around more times we just increase this number to like five or something if we wanted to make it less we just make it less so three or four or whatever it doesn't really matter alright so we already went over that all in the previous tutorial but let's just say you know the revolution and the height so say you want it to revolve around five times and you want it to be two inches tall well right now we can't edit in the height or we can't change the height so what you're gonna have to do is just change the type to revolution and height so now we can enter in how tall we want our coil to be and we can also enter in how many revolutions we want to be in our coil so I said we want it to be two inches tall so I'm just gonna go ahead and change this number to two so now our coil is two inches tall and we can change the revolution number so currently the revolution number is on four so there are four revolutions inside of our two inches right there well if we want to increase that number um, we just increase the number so now there are five revolutions inside of two inches and if I were to make it three there are now three revolutions inside those two inches alright so that's pretty much all there is for revolution and height let's move on to the next one which is pitch and height so now we can enter in the pitch which remember is the distance in between this line and this line right there and we can enter in the height as well so let's say we want to make it three inches tall this time and we want the pitch to be um, one so now in between this line and this line there is one inch and our coil is three inches tall alright so let's just go ahead and look at the last one and the last one is a spiral and this one is sort of unique so when it revolves around the axis instead of it going up along the axis it just simply moves out so now we can enter in the pitch which will be the same value it'll be the distance in between this line and that line right there so if we want to make our spiral more tightly wound we just go ahead and make this number less so I'll make it 0.5 right there and we see that now that spiral is more tightly wound and again with the revolutions if we just want this to revolve around more times we just go ahead and increase this number so I'll make it five and now we see that we have a spiral going around the axis and it revolves around it five times alright so let me just go ahead and click OK right there and now we see it just created a spiral um, using our hexagonal shape right there so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so see you guys